Welcome! It is a short special episode. I am happy to reveal the poll results and tell about updates in mod setup for next roleplay playthrough. So, the poll. First of all, I want to thank you guys. I was really surprised by how many people have voted. That means we are starting to gain active core of channel community and it's great. Let's expand it together. There were three questions in a poll. First one. What gameplay setup should it be in overall? 82 and 3% voted for the same but improved setup and 17 and 7% voted for Requiem. Both red and orange parts of diagram is for Requiem. I changed Requiem option description and Google Forms seems to count them both as separate. That means it will be the same setup as base but greatly improved. For those who voted for Requiem, I know that Vacuum is just an amazing mod and I will definitely think how to play with it. I have some ideas about separate playthrough with Dead is Dead mod with only one life and this one may go with Requiem. And if this idea will not work for some reasons, I will make next playthrough with Requiem. Should I use Frostfall? Battle was pretty heavy here. 58 and 1% voted for using Frostfall and 41 and 9% for not using it. I want both sides to be content, so I will use Frostfall, but I will do this on light settings. It will still add immersion, but not make playthrough much slower. What class should I play? 54 and 8% voted for Mage, 29% for Tank and 16 and 1% voted for Berserker. So, we have an obvious winner here. About the mod setup update. I have balanced enemy part of the game, kept still the same heart, but more immersive and tried to fix some absolutely overpowered enemies and bosses. Also, immersion part was improved greatly. I have combined a lot of small immersion loot and balanced mods, such as Moro loot for example and Scar City and so on. Have you ever asked yourself, why at, even at high levels, each second bandit has dead gear, for example, or even glass gear. Of course, high level enemies should be strong, but according to lore, there is absolutely no way that regular bandit or soldier can make a Daedric armor, or dragonborn armor, and so on. Loot and food system were also greatly overhauled to be more realistic. There will be no fast travel, but to compensate this, there will be greatly improved and rebalanced system of carriages and even ferries. Regarding the quest part of the game, I have added many new quests and new land mods, such as Helgen Reborn, Dark End, Clockwork and so on. And this time, be sure, you will see them all in action. Also, on the top of this setup, there is an absolute masterpiece mod named Legacy of the Dragonborn. You can see fast showcase and description of it in my last best quest mods video. Long story short, it is an amazing quest mod that actually makes you want to play the game and see how far you have progressed in it. About the roleplay itself. Jotter was my first attempt in voice acting. I still think my voice acting need to be much, much better. But anyway, it was an amazing experience for me and I really glad you guys also like it. So, for this roleplay, there will be a little improvement for you that will not be related to mods actually. And I hope you will enjoy it. And the last news for today, not about the mod setup itself, but about the channel. Thanks to your support and kind words, I am really motivated to make new and new type of content each day. And now it is time to say that I am already working on absolutely new category, the best Skyrim character build series. It will be based on Ordinator and that's why you can use it for original Skyrim, special edition and for Xbox One. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching and see you soon!